Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love making costumes and Halloween as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today we're going to be recreating the iconic brand mascot, Mrs. Butterworth. Let's get started. our finished Mrs. Butterworth costume. Of course we did the apron together. We fixed the shirt a little bit. The shirt came in. It was perfect but we just covered the buttons. Made a collar. Now I decided to go ahead and cover the collar with the material that I actually bought a twin sheet set and had to make my own skirt because I ordered a skirt on Amazon 
and it never came. I waited two months and it never even shipped. So needless to say, I was a little perturbed. And then we made the hat together. There it is, the little cap. And these are the shoes we're gonna be wearing. Now this is gonna be a really easy makeup. Most of your work in this costume is going to be the actual costume itself. If you decide to make it yourself or even order a skirt, I will put the skirt that I ordered up here, but it's kind of a buyer beware situation. You don't want to order this skirt and then never get it. It had good reviews, so I bought it and I never received it. Let's go ahead and get started with our makeup. Makeup time. As I said earlier, this is going to be a really easy makeup, but I thought I'd give you some really cool tips too during this episode for couples costumes and stuff. For this one, I have Ben Nye in warm brown. I also have a Ben Nye, um, just as, this is just a character shadow. It is a brown too, it's a darker brown. So I'm probably gonna go in with this one. So the warm brown's a little lighter. We kinda wanna be a little darker. I might, you know, do both, we'll see. Anything I do use will be down in the description below. I won't put anything extra in there. We spend enough on costumes, right? If you noticed already, my, my hair is actually already done. <laughs> Really easy. I just used a lot of this. So get you some good hair gel and kind of just make the little shape here with your bangs and put the rest back in a little bun. So easy to do, not a big deal. Didn't think it necessary to put it on camera. Let's get started here. I've got my little bit of water. As usual, the Ben Nye is water activated. So you're gonna wanna have a bowl of water and we're gonna start browning ourselves. This is great because the costume covers so much, we're literally only doing our face and hands. And I'm going to use something shimmery to just look like it's shiny. I didn't bother with my eyebrows doing anything with them. Yeah, since this is a brand logo, it would be really cute if you wanted to do like the Quaker Oats guy and Mrs. Butterworth or the Gorton's Fisherman and Mrs. Butterworth. If you're girlfriends, you can all be brand logos. Like one of you can be Mrs. Butterworth, one of you can be Aunt Jemima. You got the Morton Salt Girl. Just any, any brand logo would be really cool as a group or even uh, as a couple, couple's costume. Brand logos are cool. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing another one this year. So. This is a really great color, going on real good. I don't have to try real hard for this one. We always like that. You do wanna do your ears as they're going to be showing and you're going to want to do your neck because it's gonna be showing. Now, I didn't know this until I looked it up. Like, Mrs. Butterworth, she's actually white. She was a white lady. Like, I always just assumed she was black because, I don't know, the bottle's brown and everything. <laughs> but she was actually white in real life. Like, the actual inspiration for the, for the brand logo. Doesn't matter, it's just, I mean, she's brown, so I'm doing my face brown. I mean, I'm doing, I'm trying to be the bottle not the actual lady, but when I was looking, they had some like vintage Mrs. Butterworth things, like cookie jars and stuff like that. And it was a white lady in a blue dress. So you could even do like the vintage style Mrs. Butterworth. I don't know if it's as recognizable. In fact, I am pretty sure it's not because I didn't know about it. <laughs> I wanna go with the more recognizable one. This is probably gonna be a really short video because this is pretty much all I'm doing. I'm gonna line my waterline, probably with black, just cause it shows up a little darker than the brown. Hairdo kinda looks like alfalfa. Ooh, I got a tan. This is actually the character shadow. CF-22 character shadow. It's a darker brown. When you're doing your whole face, you wanna make sure you get in those, you know, crevices next to your eyes. They are the most resilient. They don't wanna take color for some reason. I just got into the brand logo thing and I thought of a lot of cool ones. So that's probably gonna be a whole playlist on my channel in the future. This will be the first one I've done so far, but I can see myself doing more. If you're going out, you're gonna wanna get all the way back behind your neck because your hair's up in a bun and it will likely be showing. I'm just going to be Photographing the front, so I'm probably not going to myself. Oh, my eyebrows even look better. <laughs> Any little crevices like around your nose and stuff, you're gonna wanna 
really get in there because you'll look like you're completely covered and then you'll go to smile or something and one of those parts will be exposed and not brown like we want it all right so that's done this is literally going to be all you have to do i actually decided i'm going to highlight with white i just want that look like almost like you know it's a shiny bottle if we can make that happen i've got my white on one side and my brown on the other when I put the white, I just go over it with the brown and it just kind of gives it a bit of a glow, not just flat brown, you know? So you're highlighting your protrudent areas, your forehead, and not like crazy, you know? Just like lighten it up a little bit and then go over it with the brown, the brown side of your sponge. She doesn't really have any lips. <laughs> I mean, not visible lips on the bottle, so we're just kind of lightening up just around the areas that kind of stick out more. A little bit more on the cheeks. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to put some mascara on. It looks lighter here, but it's actually kind of dark, you know. It'll be perfect, I think. All right, it's time to get ready. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's look. Brand logos and mascots are super fun and everybody recognizes them. So if you don't have any ideas, go to your local grocery store and I promise you, you'll get some. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe and share the video. We're doing a costume every week. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.